everyone welcome back to ask nutrition is deepas easy quick flavorful recipe videos and today i'm going to show you how to make sabudana khichdi which is weight loss friendly and the ingredients are simple it includes dry sabudana or dry tapioca pulse chopped cucumbers chopped boiled potatoes fresh coconut or frozen coconut which is shredded green chilies cilantro some cumin for flavor and if you are not going to use the uh, green chilies then we are going to use some uh, cayenne now this and and of course the crushed peanut powder so what is this what is the sabudana khichdi sabudana khichdi is a is a dish that indians make during fasting and i'm going to make a weight loss uh, friendly version of it because i'm not going to use any oil so stick with me here for some time while i tell you the secret behind how to make sabudana khichdi without oil so the first step is to take this sabud the the sabudana or tapioca pulse and soak them in a flat tray i happen to have a stainless steel tray but you can use a baking sheet for it as well and then you are going to add enough water to cover it there is no need to wash the sabudana either and then you are going to soak it in just enough water and the trick is to soak it in this flat uh flat plate or or a tray and once it's done you are just going to take a spatula or a fork and kind of uh, separate all the grains okay now sabudana as a whole doesn't really have much nutrition okay however if i look at the science behind the fasting and why sabudana was chosen is because during fasting we deplete our glycogen stores and sabudana has all the carbs that are needed for a person to restore those glycogen stores and i think that's why sabudana was was invented or a root vegetable based cuisine was evolved to to uh, to eat during or not uh, or after fasting so because you know fasting is good for our health but what has happened is over the years people make all kinds of high calorie dishes for fasting and it really um, crosses out all the benefits that you are going to get from from fasting so in this particular recipe traditionally lot of ghee and butter and and oil is used i'm going to skip all that and just basically going to make it without oil so as i mentioned uh, i'm going to steam the the final mixture in this steamer but in order to get uh, get the sabudana or tapioca all dressed up i am going to start by adding this these cucumbers in there along with these potatoes and the fresh coconut and the chilies and half of half of my cilantro the chilies are already already smelling very hot so i have to be cautious so i'm not going to add any um, any red red uh, red chili pepper and now the only other whole spice that's going to go in there is um, are these cumin seeds and one way to get the best flavor out of cumin when you are using it raw is to crush it in between your palm mm. this is going to dump it in here and i might take a little bit more so you may ask me what's the ratio so i i would say 
for two cups of soaked tapioca you might want to add half a cup of potatoes and one small cucumber or half a cup of cucumber and few tablespoons i would say that maybe two tablespoons of, of peanut powder and chili and cumin and salt as per your taste now do you see how beautiful this looks already now like i said this sabudana khichdi becomes a problem when people make it with lot of oil and and ghee and extra added fat in it and that's what makes them gain weight during fasting which is exactly the opposite effect of of fasting so now i'm just going to rotate this thali or this platter or this tray around and keep mixing it until everything is mixed together just to ensure that i'm mixing everything right i am going to get my hands in here there is nothing wrong in touching your food with your hands actually it helps with the uh, eye hand coordination it also stimulates special neurons in our brain and uh, helps with uh, with brain health and it just stimulates your senses and you get more involved in your food it's extremely important that we are involved and we are um, mentally consciously thinking about what we are eating that has a different effect than just ordering it from uh, from the restaurant and somebody else is making it and somebody else is delivering it um, so i love making my own bread or or you know mixing things together so once everything is mixed i'm going to scoop two cups of uh, that mixture into this steel pot which is lightly greased you can also use the pyrex glass bowl or any uh, metal steel uh, metal uh, cake container to steam the sabudana or tapioca mix so i'm going to put it in the steamer and once you put it in the steamer you are going to lower the heat to high medium you don't want it on very high otherwise the water is going to overboil and and uh, get into the pot so you just want to be cautious that it's not at very high temperature i usually keep it at medium high and it's going to go in there for 15 minutes after 15 minutes you are going to bring it out and just with the fork just going to fork it together now in the beginning it may feel that it's little sticky or wet but don't worry that's my 15 minute timer uh so but in couple more min i mean if you you just have to leave it here for a few minutes and it's going to dry out now if you want even more separated version of it then just do it for 12 minutes i did it almost for 15 minutes it also depends on the quality of the tapioca now as i said tapioca on its own doesn't have too much nutrition but because we are adding potatoes and cucumbers and and plenty of cilantro the the nutrition properties of of this khichdi or tapioca uh stir fry you may say is is going to get enhanced now it has really nice nutty flavor because of the the coconut and peanut powder it goes really well with with it blends really well with the the chilies or the cayenne all in all it's a good dish and if you could just get your hand on some tapioca or sabudana as it's called at local indian store this is a good dish to try so i'm just going to let it uh, cool down here by leaving uh, by just leaving it here for oh gosh like 2 to 5 minutes so there you have it the weight loss friendly diabetic friendly sabudana khichdi that you can uh, that you can make uh, during your navratri fasting or any other fasting day days that you follow again what makes this khichdi guilt free 
is is lack of uh, added oil and fat in there so i hope you guys will enjoy it and uh, please send me your comments questions and subscribe and share and i thank you all for watching my videos and staying in touch with me thank you see you next time mm -hmm.